What's up, guys? It's Gavin Schuster, Point for Kids First, and today I have the pleasure of speaking with Sydney Michaela, an actress known for her roles in General Hospital, Craig of the Creek, and A Beautiful Soul. Dale Malinowski is known for his writing in The Middlemost Post, The The Rise of the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, and more. Ant Ward is also a writer and producer known for his work, known for his work, The Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, and and the Penguins of Madagascar. Today, we'll be talking about their latest TV series, Transformers Earthspark. Miss Michaela, the first question is for you. What do you have in common or not in common with your character, Robbie? Oh, okay, that's a good question. Um, so I think Robbie and I are both very uh, passionate and persistent, you know what I mean? Robbie doesn't exactly know all that's going on. He kind of just fell down into a glowy cave and now he's siblings with the earth born Terran. It's pretty crazy. So, but I think what's different is Robbie's probably a little bit more <laughs> moody than me, at least at this point in life, you know, Robbie's much more of a teenager. So he's still trying to figure it out. Um, and I totally understand, but I think that's what we have a little bit that's different. As one of the writers in, on, in the show, what is the key element to ensure its success? Uh, my, a key element to every script that comes out of the writer's room for Transformers Earthspark is making sure that we're telling it from the kid's point of view and that it has heart, humor, uh, and family, and uh, uh, some of our uh, series themes that are acceptance, uh, for example, um, and the idea that what you are doesn't define who you are. So all of our stories are told in different ways, but all of them uh, include are inclusive of those core ideals. Mr. Ward, as the other writer on the show, what do you think made the cast made the cast resonate to the script the most? Uh, but I think what resonates really well with the characters is just the um, they all play off each other and they all have very uh, different facets of personality that complement each other very, very well. Uh, they're all trying to find their own way in their own space uh, and their own way forward of who they are. They're all trying to find their own identity. Uh, and it's been really fun um, watching these Terran bots try to find out what it means to be both from, from Earth and from Cybertron and watching the Molto family be so accepting and embracing for their wonderful new expanded family. Miss Michaela? What was it like playing the opposite gender in the show? I will say it was definitely interesting. I had to use a lot of what I learned from like my dad because he's from Philly as well as like my younger cousins who are also boys and like looking and studying their characteristics. So it was really fun playing someone that's definitely not like me in a lot of ways and finding those uh, commonalities. What was the biggest challenge in writing this script for the show? The biggest challenge in writing scripts for Transformers Earthspark was, I, I would say, in the pilot experience, that first two-parter, 101, 102, figuring out what is Robbie and Moe's headspace and how do we get them to a place where they're going to meet their new brother and sister in Twitch and Thrash? And what, what would feel grounded? What would feel real? What would feel relatable to audience members at home um, who might be going through something similar if, if you're a kid who's changed schools or moved, across, moved to a new state or a new country or even just across town, um, which was something I borrowed from my own life, having moved across town from my best friend and uh, wasn't able to see them as, as often as, as I used to, um, and coping with that change and leaning on my family uh, to help me through that. And the Transformer franchise is so beloved. How does this show relate to the rest of the shows in the franchise? Uh, so, well, when Dale and I started to develop Transformers Earthspark, we wanted to, to uh, bring a unique spin to this long-established franchise. What would happen to the Autobots and Decepticons if the war was over? The war has been such a, a, a big part of the story so far that we absolutely love taking these iconic characters and placing them uh, in situations that are very unexpected and reveal new sides of their personality. Sydney, what was your favorite part about being in this show? Oh man, it's so tough to just choose one. But I guess I would say my favorite part is working with an incredible cast and crew. You know, we shot the bulk of, actually I think all of these episodes 
uh, while we were in COVID. So it gave me so much to look forward to just being in my closet, you know, doing those recording sessions. It was so fun, honestly, just to be able to interact with people on Zoom and to have fun. Dale, what do you hope audiences will take away from watching the show? Gavin, I hope audience members who watch Transformers Earthspark take away the themes that are core to every episode within the series. And the, some of those are, for example, family, and acceptance and the idea that what you are doesn't define who you are. We have a lot of episodes throughout the show that highlight the differences amongst our characters that um, make them unique. And, and the optimism that we put into our storytelling is, is very important to us to show that you can celebrate those differences and, and uplift one another and come together uh, uh, very happily in, in, instead of uh, uh, being torn apart like some of the super villains would see uh, happen to that family. Sydney, the last question is for you. What was something you learned while working on this show? Oh man, there's so much that I learned, but I think the biggest thing is that, you know, family isn't just about who's related to you, but about, you know, who you love and who you enjoy spending time with. And I will also say that all the Transformers cast and crew has also become quite a family in such a way, you know, I got to travel to amazing places with this, you know, with Dale and Aunt uh, to like New York and London and get to spend so much time with them. And they've met my mom as well. So I think we've also created our own kind of cast and crew bond um, throughout the show, just like the characters do. So, you know, art imitating life, it's really, really beautiful. Thank you, Sydney Michaela, Dale Molinowski and Aunt War for speaking with me today. The new season of Transformer Earth Spark is available now on Paramount Plus. Be sure to check it out. Thanks for watching. This is Gavin Schuster reporting for Kids First. Be sure to like and subscribe to our channel so you don't miss my next review or those of my amazing team members. See ya.